Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, I bought the cheapest Apple CarPlay radio I can find on Amazon. Is it any good? Well, let's find out. Now, before we get this box pulled apart, first and foremost, we get a ton of questions regarding the best budget-friendly radio on the internet that features Apple CarPlay and or Android Auto. Now, this video, we're filming this in the times of post-COVID when supply, especially for audio equipment online, has been very strained, which has caused prices to skyrocket. So because of that, is it worth going with these off-brand, no-name brand, um, Chinese cheap radios that do claim that they have Apple CarPlay or, and or Android Auto? Well, I don't know. We're gonna take a look. I searched Amazon to try to find the cheapest radio that claimed it had native Apple CarPlay. Well, today, we're gonna see if it actually lives up to its claims. Now, like I said, there's no brand on here. Now, Amazon had a brand, Henstar, H-E-N Star, 7-inch radio. All right, well, user manual. Now you have your audio harness and your power harness here. Comes with the remote. Now, what's cool about this one, they sent a backup camera with it, so. All right, we'll take it. Why not? Got a mic. Mounting brackets and a universal steering wheel control button controller. That is great. Look at that. I have never seen that before, or at least with a radio. That's great. Finally, the screen itself. Okay, there we are. Yeah, you know, to be honest, it doesn't look half bad. It looks pretty clean. Now we'll boot it up to see exactly what the resolution looks like, but... So looking closely here on the front of the radio, starting in the top left-hand corner, there is an indicator that there is a mic on here and your little IR um, input receiver for your remote. Uh, because there is a mic on it, I assume you can use either this one or the external mic provided. So I guess that's up to you. Um, looks like a back button and a forward button, and right in the menu, the MN, I assume, is a menu. It's like your main source button that you can click. Then you got a volume knob that actually clicks as you turn it, which is kind of nice that there is a little bit of feedback to it. Underneath that is your SD card slot. You have your aux input or your AV input, and you have a little button for a reset just in case. And then finally here at the bottom, if we open up this little door, is your USB input. Now you'll use this USB for um, audio playback or to connect your phone because this is a wired CarPlay unit as they claim. We'll see if that's true. So that's all the buttons here on the front. If we flip it around here in the back, we have a nice aluminum heat sink here. It's actually all back aluminum. It's actually nice and hefty. Um, I'm surprised it's, it's pretty well built. Um, starting on the left-hand side, we have our AM, FM, Motorola connection input. That's where you get your um, radio. You have audio out, so I guess you could connect this to an amplifier. You have a video out. You have a video in. And then you have a dedicated camera input, as well as a subwoofer output. Now, lastly, here we have our main uh, harness connections. You have your speaker harness and your power harness here. They are keyed differently, so you can't get them in the wrong spot. And then we'll zoom in a little bit closer here. They also provide a wiring diagram. So if you're wondering what wire goes where, um, if you're just hooking this up, or if you don't have a harness adapter and you're hardwiring this unit into a vehicle, use this wiring diagram because it labels each wire and where it should connect to. So that's really it. I mean, this thing is super shallow. Obviously, it's a multimedia unit. No disc here. But let's get it all hooked up to see if it actually lives up to its description. All right, let's boot this up for the first time. All right, we got power to it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, MN, I guess, is menu. That's what that would be. Okay, menu. So it looks like yeah, man, pretty basic here. It's it's not great, but hey, for 86 bucks, so you got your radio, Bluetooth, phone link. It's probably what 
Apple CarPlay, Android Auto will be USB. This is no USB. Same thing with the SD card. E, uh, aux in or EVN. Equalizer. Settings. Steering wheel control setup. It's pretty cool. Now, <laughs> we're really here to see if it has Apple CarPlay. So what we're going to do is get that booted up to see indeed if it works or not. Okay, so um, we have a lightning cable here. Now again, we're not testing um, the Android side. In this video, we're only testing CarPlay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over. We have a test phone here, uh, um, test iPhone. So we're gonna go to this phone link. Now, when I first originally saw this, I thought you had to download an app. Now, and from what I could tell, this is more so for the Android side, not for the iPhone side. If we just plug in an iPhone here, just like so. Now, we haven't downloaded any software or anything like that. And there it is. Oh my gosh, it works. It indeed has native Apple CarPlay. You don't have to download any secondary apps. This is running right off the phone itself. This is great, look at this. For 86 bucks. So go into maps. Now it's not as snappy as maybe a Pioneer or Alpine, but again, for what we're paying for here, like I'm okay with that. Because for me, I mean, CarPlay makes a huge difference. If you can spend 86 bucks on a radio like this, then hey, maybe it's a good alternative. Now on behalf of longevity, who knows how long this thing will last, but really if you're buying a radio just for CarPlay, I mean this main menu is okay. Um, it's nothing special, but if you are specifically buying a radio just for CarPlay and you need something budget friendly, hey, this is great, this is awesome. So let me go ahead and hook up some audio to hear what this radio sounds like. Okay, well, you know, audio quality isn't as bad as I anticipated here. I could probably assume it's safely around probably 10, 15, 20 watts RMS max per channel. Um, if you want better sound quality out of it, obviously you can add an amplifier uh, just to add more power to those speakers. But again, those speakers are only gonna sound as good as the signal you're providing it. So if you buy one of these and you add an amplifier, let us know what it sounds like. For a radio with native CarPlay, I am shocked. I'm surprised at how well this actually works. Um, I fully anticipated having to download an app or do some juggling with some settings on my phone in order for it to successfully pair with CarPlay. But honestly, all I did was plugged it in and it immediately launched on the radio itself. So props to these guys, it works great and it's not even really advertised on the box. Um, so big pros here and hey, for the under 90 bucks for the price that we paid instead of paying hundreds and hundreds over a price for a good CarPlay unit, Give this a shot. If you guys want to pick one of these up, we'll actually have it linked down in the description um, to Amazon where we purchased it. Obviously, I don't know how this thing's going to perform six months down the line in the car, but for the price that we paid, I'm already satisfied with it. So if you have one of these and you've played with it for a while, let us know your thoughts and your experience using it in your vehicle. Is it worth it? Does it hold up? Um, do you recommend it to others? That's about it for this video here today. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time and we will see you in the next video.